and welcome back to the Angry Teacher channel. Uh, I'm Richard Williams, the Angry Teacher, and today I'm going to give you my August 2023 income report. I am excited. I haven't made a video in a while. It's been so long since I've been on here because, like I keep saying, life keeps happening. Um, and then I keep seeing uh, It's All Primary, Becca, um, Lauren, and um, uh, Kirsten, and some other folks keep popping out videos. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Obviously not making videos. So in any case, I'm going to try today to at least make give you one and then try to meet out the others as um, September trolls along, all right? So August 2023, it's the back to school month it's also the end of summer it's also um, TPT sales um, those two days back to school sales before the other one in September but so let's see where it goes all right so let's get started like so as I've said um this mama cat came in so I'm fostering cats of them one of these knuckleheads went outside i let them roam around early in the morning when i get up since i don't sleep anyway so they're outside it's safe nobody's messing with them i'm watching one of these knuckleheads climbed a tree <sighs> he's like this big dude where are you going he climbed a tree i noticed the other two came in i'm, I'm like doing my my tpt stuff he never came back i'm like where is he i went outside i'm hearing him crying didn't know where the heck he was I, I thought just to came to me, look up. I looked up, but he's in the tree looking down at me, help. I'm like, oh boy. So I can't reach as far as he is, and for some reason I have nothing high enough to stand on. I took my chair out, standing on the chair, still can't reach him. So I had to um, get help from my brother. So he's climbing up, I'm pushing the, the, the kitten with the broom. We're just, we got him down. And what does he do? He stays outside for another 30 minutes. I'm like, dude, did you want us to save you? What is the problem here? So that's been part of my summer, just dealing with fostering. How you guys do it, I don't know. Uh, and that's just a part of, of the problem. I mean, he's so cute, but still, you know? Anyway, I was getting nervous about the back to school situation. You know, you watch all these videos, you watch the news, you hear what's going on. You see what, you live what's going on with re the, the looming recession. Um, teacher shortages, uh, teachers' finances, so they're holding on to their their products that they've purchased from you before, or holding on to other stuff, or, or using the mandated curriculum more because they don't have the funds for ready use, you know, like they used to. I live in Florida, so there's fear of what we can or cannot teach, There's new curriculum popping up all over the place. That's Florida. So that's all been a part of my thought process during the summer because um, this August has been weird like that. And so I kept all that. So I kept all that in mind as I am um, expecting my sales for the for August. Once again, it's summer, so as TPT sellers, we don't expect a lot of sales or, <laughs> well, if you're like a starting off, um, like a small seller like myself, we don't expect a lot of sales. This is what happened. Last year, the item sold, I had 158 sales. This year, I sold 140, so <laughs> you see where this is going, right? I've sold less. 18 items less I was beginning to become concerned and I didn't notice at the time obviously but I, I realized that things were a little bit less but let me just hold off until a little bit later okay conversion rates last year was 6.4% this year 5.4% so that dropped as well yeah I was getting worried I am getting worried <laughs> I don't know what my my Christmas is gonna look like Christmas sales because these are the strongest months for most of us between August and December I am really worried at this point because if back to school didn't school didn't help me out too much then huh, <laughs> what's Thanksgiving gonna do 
what's Halloween gonna do? All right. Uh, my views. Last year I had 2,445, and this year I had 2,603 views. So my views went up. So more people are looking at it, and I don't know what happened because they uh, I sold less items or yes, less units. So maybe they're just like wishing they could have it. Maybe they wish listed it for another sale, or maybe they're just looking and, oh, that's nice, and moving on. Either way, my, my views went up. Uh, my video my preview video views were 40 last year and now they're 49 so once again they're looking at the store they're looking at the products the units sold they didn't set they didn't buy as much as I expected um, I made a video not too long ago about the two sales sale days so they are buying stuff it's just not as much as last year right my $50 days remember that's the thing that I do I look at the the, the amount and and I am so I'm trying to be so good at this where I don't even count the 49.99 days or 49.95 days and I have several of those but I ignore them because I'm not going to round anything up I want it to be the raw data and I last year I had nine $50 days 50 up you know that was phenomenal I was so appreciative out of the 31 days of August I, yeah 31 days of August I had nine of those um, 50 plus days, $50 plus days. This year I had 11. So there are two extra days that I sold $50 or more. And that was amazing. I was just like um, screaming, yes, 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 in the house. That was phenomenal. There's something new I wanted to add. Now I never do traffic because nothing much changes in traffic. But this year was just amazing. Something stand out to me. Um, stands out to me and it's my TPT well it's not mine but TPT emails those kind of stood out a little bit more for this August YouTube thank you guys you're watching the videos and you're coming to the store and picking up stuff every day. thank you um, back to school emails from TPT thank you for that too TPT you got us you, you've been doing your marketing and it's been working now, by the way, these sales are not astronomical. Uh, it's between 21 and 32 um, sales, but it works. Google Ads. So I guess SEO works, you know, try to get that done as well. You guys watch all these videos from the different TPT experts talking about SEO, and it seems to work because my Google AdWords has um, produced some sales, and I do have... I think or I think didn't did I end it? I think I edited ended a Google um, ad campaign that I had. So maybe that was it, or maybe it's just people typing in and coming from Google. I don't know how it works, but um, that has registered on my traffic um, tab dashboard. And guess what made my traffic dashboard? No, to followers. You know, <laughs> sometimes we don't check them, but obviously the people who follow me do. I'm going to keep pump, pumping those things out because I got a couple of sales from my note to followers. That just amazed me. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And you know the other thing that surprises me? Now, I think I told you guys before I was hacked like at least twice on Instagram. I'm obviously doing something wrong. The last, my, my most um, current Instagram account, check it out below, is, uh, and please follow. It's um, the Angry Teacher 2023. I'm running out of things to call this the, the, this um, <laughs> Instagram account. Anyway, so this is my most recent. So it doesn't have a lot of followers like I did in the previous ones with my thousands and, and um, all the posts and whatever. So it's very bare bones right now. But I got at least nine people to come over to um, TPT from that account. I'm like, okay, so something's happening. So it's either the new TPT algorithm is working um or you know he promised that um what's his name michigan whatever his name is he promised that he was going to have us um he's going to advertise more whatever so maybe that's what it is and so um i'm trying to do a little bit with instagram and it's working because i got at least nine people to come over i don't think i've ever noticed that in with the other accounts so something is going on and my earnings oh boy Last year I made $1,294, $1,294, and this year I made 
yes I did not make meet that goal um, I law I, I with my account was down $37 does it hurt not really <laughs> it's $37 that's literally like one bundle that I didn't sell this year however I've got more views I've got um, more traffic coming to the to the to the site so you know as much as it bothers me that i didn't meet that particular um standard from last year i didn't beat top last year's guess what once again remember when becca told us that you know we look at the, all the past years and then we average out the biggest months and your average total goal should be about whatever it averages out to be i met that because my average is about 1100 and, and I met that um, this month, thankfully. Hopefully for the rest of the, at least this quarter, I will make those as well. So I met my goal for the store, I just didn't meet it for the month. I'm okay, I'm okay. $37, I'm not gonna cry over spill month. I got things to do. And I need to make more, advertise more and do more. Because um, life is getting more more complicated once again. We're back in school, so there are more games for me to attend. There are more um, meetings, like, to, um, what is this? This is Labor Day weekend, so in about two days when we go back, I have two meetings literally the same day. Um, all these doctors and dental visits, there's so much going on, so I need to get as much out in the time that I do have. So there's that. My takeaways from August 2023 um, sales, or, or just the month in general, stay hopeful. Even though I did not meet my August goals, even though I was worried, I still kept making products and still holding out hope that it would be okay. And if you've seen my June and July, hello, this is really uh, an improvement, like a huge improvement, like a three times improvement. I was embarrassed to call myself a businessman in, in July because I'm like, what is this? Like, like really? Like, really? I should have taught summer school. That's how bad this was. <laughs> anyway, um, number two, there'll be good days and bad days. Like in everything, and, and you know, the first thing that came to my mind, uh, you know what, number two and number three, I'm just going to tie them together. Be realistic because there are good days and bad days. If I had a brick and mortar, there's some days I, I used to work retail, um, and sometimes we'd be very low. Sometimes it would, uh, the manager would have to send people home. That's how slow we were. So those are the bad days. And then there's some days we're so busy we can't keep up. Some, sometimes we can't get lunch and whatever. So that's it's a business. So some days people are gonna buy a lot. Some days people are not gonna buy enough. Some days one person will come in and buy a whole lot of stuff and then it's a dud for the rest of the day. However, you made sales because of that one sale. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's what it is. It's the nature of the beast. And lastly, trust the process. Sometimes you feel, you know, you're not worthy of all of this. You can't do it. And, and why would people buy your stuff? Or if nobody's buying your stuff, you start doubting the, the, the product itself. You start doubting yourself. You start doubting other people in the states that you're in and the, the curriculum. You start doubting everything. But just trust the process. Right now, you might not be making sales, but you might have the product that everybody wants around Thanksgiving. You might have the product everybody wants around December or, or, or March. So. And then the rest of us might just be like, you know what, it is what it is. It's coming. Change is coming. Improvement is coming. Just keep working. Don't give up just yet. All right? That's my takeaway for August. I love you guys. Check out the next video because you know it's coming. Hopefully soon. I love you guys. Bye.